Welcome to this video on how to completely eliminate green hair algae from the marine reef aquarium. My tank did look like the top left, but after many hours of experimentation and trial and error, I've finally come up with a way of completely eradicating green hair algae from the aquarium. With this video, you should be able to completely eliminate green hair algae within a month. There's four steps to elimination. The first is physically removing the algae. The second is to completely detox your tank by removing the chemical elements that algae feed off. And also there's additional actions to reduce the growth of algae. And finally, there's the weekly maintenance that you should be doing every week. So the first step is to do a water change. We need to get 10% of the water out and we want to keep this in a container. I use a saucepan. Once you've got your saucepan full of water, please take out your live rocks that are covered in green hair algae and place them in the old water inside the saucepan. This is what it should look like. I've poured the water into a sink so you can see a little bit better. So just put your live rock into the old water and we will begin the physical removal process. You need to get a wire brush which can be purchased from any hardware store and you want to scour the rocks with the wire brush. Um, this should remove algae as you can see here. So you want to brush everywhere, even where there isn't algae, just brush it off just in case there's any algae spores or slime algae just growing there. We want to completely clean this rock. When you've scoured the whole rock with the wire brush, try using a toothbrush to buffer the remaining sides of the rocks. The wire brush gets rid of most of it, but the toothbrush has the best coverage to, to get rid of algae. So this is what the tank looks like now that I've cleaned a few rocks. As you can see, there's still algae growth on a few rocks, um, and this is the situation. So one week later, you'll see the algae has come back quite a lot compared to last week. Um, this is due to a number of things. Uh, the main thing is the chemicals, such as nitrite, nitrate, and ammonia. So we need to detox our tank to stop the algae from growing further. So instead of doing 10% like we did last week, which I've marked on the side of the glass, we're going to do 25%. But you don't want to be changing any more than 35% of the water or the tank can completely um, self-destruct with a, an imbalance of bacteria. Another way to reduce the chemicals is to use a, a carbon media filter, such as Roa Foss or another brand which I'm using now. Um, you can put that in inside your canister filter and it will absorb uh, nitrite, nitrate and ammonia um, and also phosphorus. So it's a good idea. A second step would to be use um, Cheto algae, which I've just put in there. Uh, it's a good idea to get a container for this with holes in and put it inside of your tank. You can always get refugiums as well. Um, and that, that utilises phosphorus and nitrate so that the algae doesn't grow as well. So additional steps are to adopt a cleanup crew. So here we have uh, some hermit crabs that we're going to use. Uh, hermit crabs are the best for cleaning up algae. Snails are quite good, but they don't have teeth or anything, so it's hard to get green hair algae off. Another step is to reduce the light. I usually have my lights on for about four hours. Uh, I cover the tank up completely with a blanket like I'm doing now while I'm at work. And when I get back, uh, I turn the lights on and have it on till uh, when I go to sleep. Uh, also, you want to reduce the food. So if you ma imagine a clownfish's mouth is absolutely tiny. Now you only really want to give them a couple of mouthfuls or three mouthfuls. They don't need any more than that. Um, so I feed the 
uh, clownfish a few pellets each, maybe four pellets or five pellets each. And then I give my royal grammar about two or three flakes. And if you're worried about your cleanup crew, because obviously if there's less algae in the tank, they won't eat as much. A good idea is to chop a cooked prawn in half and, and give it to your shrimps and crabs and they'll eviscerate this and eat it and they'll be fine. And then you, they'll, they'll use every trace of it so you don't have to worry about it getting sucked up into the filter or anything. Um, so yeah, you want to greatly reduce your feeding and just feed your cleanup crew half a prawn. So this is what the tank looks like now. Every week I have been taking the live rocks out and scrubbing them with a wire brush and then a toothbrush. Uh, and then doing all the other factors so that algae doesn't form again on the rocks. Uh, you'll get to the point where you've got rid of, of all the algae and it'll just be sort of slime algae that you'll get on your rocks. So you don't even have to take the live rock out at this stage. All you need to do is go over it with a toothbrush every week or even every two or three weeks. Um, it's a very sustainable way of reducing algae and I hope that this video has helped you. If you've got any questions, please ask me in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.